Good afternoon, all of you. Let us place ourselves into the hands of Our Lady, that she may intercede for us, and that by the power of the gospel we've just heard, our minds may be enlightened and our spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, once again we are gathered in this church to thank God for the gift of life and for the joy of living. To thank him for the gift of faith, hope, and charity. And to continue employing him to forgive us our sins, being human beings, created of flesh and blood, subjected to sin and error. Hence, in need of God's mercy and compassion. During this period of Lent, the Mother Church continued to remind us to intensify our prayers, to intensify our fasts, and to intensify our acts of charity. This is what God is commanding us to do through our true and sincere actions. Sometimes it may not be easy as Jesus has just mentioned in the gospel of today. As baptized people, we have a mandate, an obligation to go out there and to preach the good news and to witness to the gospel what we have heard and what we are hearing even now. But always and many a times as baptized Catholics, Christians, we are teachers, prophets, and disciples of Christ. Our words or the message that we pass over to the world may at times not be received easily. Sometimes we can be ridiculed. Sometimes we can be ignored. Sometimes we can be insulted. But we should remain steadfast, faithful, and hopeful, especially during this period of Lent. We are encouraged to be obedient to the word of God, and especially to those who God have mandated to pass this message to us, the priests, the deacons, and all those who have the obligation to preach, including ourselves. Naaman, as we have heard, was obedient to the word of God, to the prophet of God, and as a result, he was healed. 
Elijah was sent to the widow at Serapta. And out of generosity, faith, and love for God, the widow was generous to Elijah, the man of God. And as a result of that, she was never in want again. We too, as Christians, Catholics, are being implored, being encouraged to be generous to the needy, to the orphans, to the widows, to the old age, to the sick, to the alien, and all who may be in need of our help and support. Let us stand firm, strong in faith, as the devil is also around to discourage us from these acts of love and of faith. Praise be to God.